basically I don't want to be taking this in. Unless I know we're going to win. And they've not got a half a weight air cover. Because it's going to cost me 35,000 silver lines to repair it every time it goes down. To post-war AA. It could be worse. I mean, the thing is, if I don't take in that, which is a jet, then it means basically I take in something worse, like a prop. I won't take that in because that means I automatically will tear myself into 8.3 and plus games into AKA 9.0 games. That means you don't get down tiered in the 8.0 lineup. And I want to avoid that at the moment. When I get the Type 74, then I might throw that in. Because at that point, it won't matter. Um, but for the moment, with just using the SDB, I'd rather keep it as it is. You know, try and get down tiered if I can. Um, as far as that goes, though, yeah, I mean, my options are to basically take that in or not. And maybe take in a prop. The props are good. They're expensive to repair, though, at this kind of battery. And the props, so they can't really compete with jets. Not like the top tier jets, at least, anyway. You can kind of compete with the World War II era type ones, the ones that are 7.0 or like the kicker, that kind of shit. Well, equivalent. Um, but they can't compete really with the post war stuff. The really post war stuff, like the Sabres and the MiGs. They would just get annihilated if the enemy know what they're doing. So basically, I'm kind of forced to take this. In. If I don't take that in, then I've not got an effective bomber. That really isn't for this battle ring. I shouldn't really be taking that in. I should be taking in one of these two, but that cost me 60,000 silver lines to repair. It's spaded, so I don't want to take that in. And that cost me 66,000 lines, silver lines to repair. Which, again, I don't really want to be paying per tank battle. Which is what I may end up doing with those in my lineup. Or if I take them out. Um, to be honest, I'm probably off, better off taking the B7A2 in. Um, for cost. And effectiveness. Because that will actually... I might be able to do something with that, but these three, possibly not. Those two, possibly not as well, but they're more likely to actually do something. But it's not necessarily going to be, a, a, you know, instant success, and it might end up costing me a shitload of silver lines. So they're not viable in my mind, even with premium account on. That they'll just be bleeding silver lines constantly. And that's not good. As far as the aircraft goes, what have I got? R2Y2? That's really freaking expensive. Uh, let's see. Is there a, does it tell me the re repair cost is similar about? Ah, it does. Let's have a look then. Pick us 24,000 for some of that bell. Lol. <laughs> hmm. Well, I wonder. When I take that in, can I take that in? That is the question. Nope. We're on this side. So, we've got the STB we can take in. Can't take in the Type 60. Can take in Type 61, but not going to ever take that in, so that's fixed. Um. As far as aircraft goes, we've got J2M4, J2M5, J2M5, K87, K83, K84, Hey, K84 Otsu, and both the next. Right, so I've got a nick there. How much does that cost? 18,000 to repair? LOL! Thank you, guy boob. 24,000 to repair for that? Fuck! And 19,000 to a bit. The fuck, man? Right, well, it looks like we're not taking any planes in for Japan because that would just be economic suicide. 7,200 for the premium. Lawless. Lawless. 
And I'm 21,000 for the K84. Oh, fuck me. 21,000 for the other Nick. And let's see. The hay. 29,000. Jesus Christ. Right, we're not taking any planes in. That's settled. <laughs>